This is easily the most modern thing I have ever been part of in my entire life because the genesis of this happened on social media yesterday. Yes, Anna? we are going to call this our inception interview because Trevor Boris <laughs> tweeted me that he was coming to town and we couldn't do an interview because we didn't, we're not going to be doing the show. Yeah. So we said, let's Skype it. And this was all set up like that. And look who's here. Trevor Boris. Hello. How are and now you? I'm gonna I'm gonna live tweet this interview actually. Oh my god! So, Next wait a level. second. So so <laughs> you're live tweeting the interview that was created on Twitter while we're skyping. Yes, and then you can add me on Facebook at the end. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> we'll be frenzies and stuff. So how are you, Trevor? I'm good. So I'm I, I'm safe at home in Toronto. I didn't want to be in Vancouver in case tonight goes bad. <laughs> oh ah. boo boo! <laughs> I hope you guys are I hope you guys are in like a safe and secure bunker. <laughs> we will be. We will be. Well, I don't think we'll ever shake that reputation here ever in our entire lives. I think that's Vancouver for from here on in. And I'm also just noticing that if I look at my own place, there's a plant that I've got here that I haven't watered in three weeks. I'm just noticing by watching myself. <laughs> <laughs> but your place is quite lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Well, we well, have kind of fun. Like normally, I'd be there, but now I'm, I'm, you know, I'm doing laundry. I wish I could say I'm on the set of my next film, but no. I'm just but you've been film. very busy. I didn't know you were a producer and writer on Canada's Got Talent. How's yeah. that going? Congratulations. Thank you. It's, I mean, it's so much fun. It's the only show that you can watch, you know, like an eight-year-old juggler followed by an opera, followed by <laughs> catches fish. It's, it's really a fun show. Yeah, no kidding. And you got some big news you were telling us just before we started. Uh, your show in Vancouver is in May. And yeah. is it the, the day before you're on Conan O'Brien? Yeah, May 22nd, I'll be on Conan. Any pressure involved in that? Or are you totally chill about this? Do you get crazier as you get closer? Well, I'm really excited. It's my you know U.S. late night debut. And to make it a really big thing, I'm telling everyone that Justin Bieber's on the show as well. <laughs> <laughs> He's not. But spread that around. Spread that around. Tell everyone that Bieber's on. What was the process like going uh, on Conan? Of course, you're going to do a stand-up uh, stand bit, but how do they vet your material? I've seen a lot of your material, and I'm not really sure, you know, for TV. Maybe some's a little much, but how did they pick what your set's going to be? Well, that's actually what's great about Conan is that he's the edgiest of all of them, and he's got the youngest demo. So they picked my material, actually. And the, the funny thing is he actually saw me first at the Vancouver Comedy Festival years ago, yeah. Booker, and now it's finally happening. And so it feels kind of full circle. But they picked this stuff based on everything he's seen of mine from other TV galas. And uh, there's definitely some stuff in there that I thought would be actually too edgy for TV. Like what? So. Like what? Like I, well, what? I was, I was going to ask that, actually, whether you were somewhat surprised by, by what they chose and, and versus well, what you would have chosen. So I said stuff, and then I got bleeped. So I don't want to say anything. So, <laughs> But if you it's... I, um, like, I get to say, I say penis, which I didn't think you could say on Kona. Well, sorry, you can't say that sorry. on our show either. Sorry, you say peanuts? No, I, I, no. Is it peanuts, you say? Peanuts. Yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. It's a little nickname. You know what? I love eating peanuts. <laughs> 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 and I love social media! <laughs> and that's how rumors get started. So, uh, Tra I'm, I'm curious, no, uh, Trevor, I, I want to know what kind of books Trevor Boris reads. What, can you go over there and get a book? And like, really? Yeah, is there anything that's not, oh. like, that's appropriate? Uh, there's, I don't even know. I, to be honest, I haven't read any of them, so I don't even... <laughs> Trevor, I think she just wanted to scope out your ass, man. I think she just wanted <laughs> I, do, uh, I do have a... Uh, my picture with Justin Bieber handy. You do not. Where, I'm so jealous. Where did you meet Justin Bieber? At the MMVAs. Uh, and how? He, asked me about he said he was a fan of Video on Trial. And then I screamed like a girl. I did. <laughs> so uh, did you do one of Justin Bieber's videos on Video on Trial, or was it? Yeah, we've done a few. But you know, he's a teenager growing up in Canada, so I guess it's not that crazy to think that he grew up watching it. You know. Yeah, but how weird would it be if it was your video and you were watching it on? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know who tweeted us was Taylor Swift. She tweeted from her hotel room in Toronto saying she's watching this show, Video on Trial, and her video was on it, and then she was, like, hilarious. So, so that, was, that was, like, I favorited that tweet. Trevor, do you ever freak out when you know that you've done somebody's video on Video on Trial and you may have said things that are quite hilarious but a little biting, and then you have to meet that person? 
Um, yeah, it's always scary, but then you find out that they don't care. I mean, they've got millions of dollars, and I mean, look what I have. I have a plant that's dying, and books I haven't read. <laughs> Are you, uh, you're in Vancouver, is it May 24th? I, I'm, to yeah. the 26th, yeah. May 24th to the 26th. Yeah, like a new Yuck Yucks uh, that just opened, I think, a few weeks ago, so I am excited. I've actually never headlined a club in Vancouver before. I filmed my DVD there two years ago. But I, this will be my first time doing a full weekend, so it's actually, I'm really excited for it. So how long a set do you actually do, like when you're headlining, and how does it feel when you're finished? You must be exhausted. Well, I mean, well, listen, I do like 45 to 50. Some people work, I hear, up to eight hours a day, which that sounds, <laughs> that sounds crazy. I think it's criminal, <laughs> really. Uh, <laughs> possible. Do you shake up your material when you come to Vancouver? Are Vancouver audiences different from Toronto, or? I know it sounds... It sounds kind of lame to say, but I do think that Vancouver audiences are like the hippest, coolest in Canada. That's why I did my DVD there. So they're definitely smart, fun. So I get, to, I feel like I get to be a little edgier, which is kind of nice. You're only so. saying that so we don't flip over your car and burn it. I know. I, I don't even feel safe in Toronto right now. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, thank you so much for doing this with us, man. You were really patient he while we sorted out the process. He was and, and Skyping, and, and we even had the wrong time. Thank you for, for hiding all the naked people that were in your home five minutes before we started. So. Okay, picture time. Everybody wait. We're going to tell you that Trevor Boris yep. right no, that's there. It. Ultimate inception moment. I know it was. Uh, he's going to be at Yuck Yucks May 24th through the 26th. And the night before, he's actually going to be on Conan O'Brien. So make sure you watch him because we'll definitely be talking about that yeah, for sure. Awesome, man. Great to talk to you as always. Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate Thanks, guys. It. Bye.